Well, hello there. Good times with Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And welcome back to Scarland. We are high above Scarland at the moment, taking a look down at the Greenhouse Project. As you can see, we've expanded a little more since the last episode. I've created, uh, what, three more greenhouses plus a subterranean mushroom farm. And yeah, so you can see one's under construction down there. Now, I was only planning on really making just a one wheat farm, but uh, I, I was inspired to make more, what can I say? And yeah, so you can see the desert cube in the background and all sorts of cool stuff from up here. Well guys, let's head back down there and get started with this episode. Alright, we're back down here and we're taking a look at what we've completed in the... Let's see, so this was our last episode and we built the wheat farm, wheat greenhouse. And you can see it's growing in very nicely. Some have asked if the light levels are, you know, affected by the roof. Nope, seems to be working just fine. We have a plenty of uh, wheat to go around for Scarland, population I guess of one, plus about ten dogs. And over here we've got the two greenhouses that I uh, worked on a little bit um, over the week. And you can see in this one I've got pumpkins in here. Now these pumpkins are just for aesthetics. They're uh, not really growing or anything like that. Just in here for fun while I um, really decide what I'm going to put in each one of these smaller greenhouses. And you can see this one is under construction, ready for its floor, roof, and things like that. Now you can see this greenhouse over here is done. It's all ready to go and waiting for its sugar cane. Now you might remember that I already have a pretty cool sugar cane farm over by the treehouse. But I thought, you know, while I'm at it, I'll, I'll make a sugar cane farm. So let's take a look over here and see the subterranean mushroom farm. So let's take a look over here and see what we got going on here. Yes, yeah, all growing in very nicely. We got our mushrooms in here in our subterranean mushroom farm. Now, when I was up here building this, uh, I was bombarded by creepers because they were spawning down there so I had to put it on peaceful mode while I finished it and did this video because there was all sorts of shenanigans coming out of this hole. So what should we work on next? Oh over here we've got more greenhouses ready to go so I'm gonna do let's see one long one right here and then two smaller ones on this side. Now I'm hoping with 1.8 coming out hopefully soon there's going to be some other farming things. That's what I've heard, and that's what I'm counting on here because I've uh, clearly invested in the greenhouses. So, what could we work on now? And I think what we're going to work on is hedges. Now, this is something pretty cool. Now, if you remember the topiary tree episode where I showed you how to make topiaries, well, I've found recently that you can make hedges. Now, let's take a look at how to do this. So I'm thinking about making a hedge along here. So I'm going to go about two, two blocks out. So about two blocks. And that's, th um, hmm. let's see, what am I going to do here? I'm trying to measure this up, kind of decide how wide I want my hedge to be. Um, hmm. Well, I think it'll only be about this wide. So I'll just give it a one. So I'll just go here and here. Yeah, I think that's good. Now let's get ourselves some wood and some leaves that we got off the tree from the shears. So we'll put down some wood or logs and then we'll place the leaves on top of it. Now I have a hedge. Now I think that looks awesome. That is pretty cool. So, oops. Let's just make a line across here. I want to get some of this extra tall grass out of the way. I spent all the time killing those skeletons so I could plant tall grass in here. Now I'm breaking it all up. see my mine down there. That's where I got a lot of the sand for uh, the glass. Let's go to about here for now. 
and we'll just put the wood across here. Now this will, the leaves will be able to attach to the log. You can go about four or five leaves away from the log before the leaves will disappear, go away. So keep that in mind when doing like a topiary or some type of hedge like this. All right, let's just go down here like this. Let's get this stuff out of the way. There we go. I think that looks actually pretty cool. It's kind of something different. What we could do is we could add flowers, I guess, to the extra green space. I think that would look pretty cool. So, all those skeletons. Now here's a question for you guys. Is there any way, since tall grass came out, to have the tall grass, you know, respawned in? What I mean is, because this terrain was already generated pre-tall grass, that's the stuff I'm talking about right here, is there any way to get it to appear in pre-generated um, terrain like this? This was, you know, generated before tall grass was implemented in the game, but I have to go out of this area to an area that needs to be newly generated to get tall grass. And I was wondering if there's any way around that, and just having it appear in here. I haven't found a way yet, but if there was, let me know. I guess I can find it on the message boards, but probably not. That would take time. This guy's lazy. Oops. And there we go. Uh, excuse me. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah. There we go. Now I think this is as far as. We oh no, I can go actually. Let's, let's leave it to there. Jeez, fall in that hole, why don't you? I'm gonna help you along. Fall in the hole. <laughs> oh god, you were still plaguing me. I can't put the blocks on top of him. Dang it, you cow. Dang you, cow! No, not more of you. Get out of here. Jeez. Find me of my cat. God. Get out of here. There. Oh, jeez. Farm animals. And let's see. Let's go to the end here. There we go. Let's knock out this extra grass. Let's see, let's make sure we make room for red flowers. Red flowers are always hard to find. I want to make sure I pick up all the extra ones that I dropped. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Cool little kind of divider, make the land look a little nicer. I think that is pretty cool. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this quite a bit. Now, next I'm going to work on some, maybe some topiaries across here. I think that might look nice. Well, guys, this has been another super awesome Minecraft episode. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you could, take a second to rate the video so others can find my videos too. And we'll see you later.